I know. I know. It's probably a bad idea, huh? Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said my actual name because you never know. Someone may come and find me because of what I'm about to do now. Um, someone, um, the, the person who put this together, his name is uh, Kirky, or it's, um, I'm going to get you the name. Hold on. This is found on Kuro Kitsunsama's channel. Now, I'll put the link to the video below, and uh, you can check out his channel for yourself. From what I've been told, and I've just been told this, this is the only version currently of Road to Resistance that beats the publisher's scan. And the reason why, he's changed the track, he's dropped the lows out. Uh, there are little, you can hear different little nuances where he's cut little portions to keep it from being exactly the same also visually he has multiple views from multiple arenas but this is essentially baby metal road of resistance the avenger era um now uh, rather than go through the fact that i'm going to get all the names wrong um i'll know that it's sui moa metal um not sui see i did it again see how let's see how quickly i get it wrong Two metal, Moa metal, and whichever performer is teaming up with them at that time. Rather than me constantly make mistakes on the names that I'm going to get wrong, we're just going to enjoy this. Understand that there's going to be multiple locations, multiple venues, and he's going to overlay the visual to try to get it past the fact that the publisher is not very amused. This is actually my fourth or fifth time trying to react to this song. I've heard it multiple times. It's on my playlist. But I've, you guys have never gotten to see me enjoy this together with you. Uh, it's very rare you get to see that stuff because we all know why. Um, am I going to get a copyright strike on this? I have no idea. If you guys see it, then obviously not. Um, if you've never seen this and you're only seeing this on Patreon, yeah, you know what happened. We tried. Speaking of trying, I'm gonna get my beard out of the way. You ready? And I'm also doing this in large format. I must, I must be an idiot to think I could put all of it on the screen and just me in the corner. It should be reversed. But you know what? At this point, I don't care. Ready? Ready? Here we go. It's that song about the road and the um having the frictionary thought from the band that rhymes with. Baby Bell. That's how bad it's gotten. You can't even say the name. In fact, we shouldn't even think, stop thinking about the name. Okay. It's still that bad. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be. At this point, the record label and the management company behind this group needs all the help they can get. But nope, they still are striking us down every chance they get. I'm stupid. I'm giving it a shot anyway. Let's go. Seven minutes of chaos. Ready? Go. I will say the venues as I see them, okay? Just to help you guys out. This is MG World Tour in Japan. The sun also rises. This is the LA Forum. This is Legend Metal Galaxy Day 1. See, what he's doing is, is this person is taking snippets from each tour video, but not letting them stay long enough to hit the algorithm that causes an instant block and strike. Apparently it worked. It probably won't work for me, you know? The fact, you know, I'm a gaijin to begin with, and I'm ugly, and I'm old. At least I'm wearing the right t-shirt. <laughs> He's never done a reaction to them. He's like, dude, why would, no. I was like, yeah, I'll do it and wear your shirt. 
dick. Yeah, I know. So it appears that he's rotating between the LA Forum, the Galaxy Show, the Sun Also Rises, and then uh, the fourth show. He's rotating between those four shows. Apparently, they're all on the same tour. You can see Moa, you see Sue. Um, it's it's been a bit, and I, I will admit that I'm not a super uber baby metal fan. So. I love their stuff. One of my favorite performances of theirs that I've seen is the one at uh, 2012 download in the rain karate. Good performance. And, and, and the British crowd loved them for doing it in the rain. They appreciated their effort. Still, I'm, I'm more of a huge fan of the Cami band and everything they put together, you know? So you guys know my history with this. I mean, I tried out for the Cami band and it didn't work out well the earlier old school nerd videos yeah there's one with me in a shaker don't want to talk about it i never i ruined that sheet by the way and the flag scroll All death. Just me, is it a little fast? A little trying to beat that algorithm. He's doing a good job. I mean, you could hear little nuances. Also, the key, the, the the track in the back with the keys in it. Um, I still to this day don't think we'll ever touch the intensity and that hair coming up on your arm, like the original video of this song, where Sue literally it's slow. And she does the wall of death and you see the crowd react to it. And it's, you know, it's, it's done very deliberately. Whereas now, and I, and please don't take this the wrong way, baby metal fans. Don't crucify me. There's so many reasons to get mad at me. This should not be one of them. The way that they did it in the original video just appeared to be so organic and so deliberate that now when she does, it just looks like, oh, it's part of the act. It's like it's scripted now instead of being like, the the step over and then the the ride the racehorse stance with the you know it just because you've seen the original when they were super young now when they do it the same as adults it, they don't need why don't they just do it different just do it organically to me it would be better organically every time now i get it it's all it's 
I like in this band, and I keep not saying the name because the more you say the name, the more they look at you. It, it, it's kind of like um, Metallica. Not musically. But the fact that the name and the brand and the machine that what it is has become so much bigger management and money wise than the artists themselves. Like when you see the documentaries that Metallica put out, especially like some kind of monster and stuff, when Kurt and and even Lars and James talk about can we even stop? Are we allowed to stop? Are we allowed to quit? Are we allowed to take a break? Because I feel like it's always something. Like the machine won't let me get away. It's some kind of monster that we it controls us. And I think now Metallica is in a good place where they do what they want when they want. There's no pressure to be the biggest rock band in the world. They just are. But I can understand why at the height of this band's existence, when you lose one of your members, for whatever reason, there's all these different, I mean, literally, JFK assassination, moon landing, why she left baby metal. I mean, that's like, there are rumors, there are conspiracy theories, but there's never really, there's been the official word, but everyone's like, no, it's got to be like, right? That's how intense it was to lose, for the Cami band to lose one of their best musicians, the, the, the guitar god himself, when he died on that fall in the beginning of the year, and then you lose one of the three, they never really recovered. Did they have good? I mean, look. The seven, uh, the, all the different albums, these two or three albums after, incredible, good stuff to come back and for Sue and Moa to continue on was literally something that made you go, wow, commitment, wow. They, 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 they moved on, they, they kept going. And that was impressive and you, you respect it. But the, I, they never really recovered from that. And watching this version of it, it does seem a little different. Because it's not the original Cami band. It's guys wearing masks. The Cami band, you could see their faces. You, you could see Bo's face playing the, playing the bass. And he's just, you know, and the smiles on those guys' faces. Just the, the excitement of the band behind them. Their youthfulness, their energy, and just the connection. I don't think it'll ever be reproduced. And it was such a phenomenon. And that, and that is the tragedy of baby metal, is that the meteoric rise of these three young ladies, and at the height of what they were, for them to face double tragedies in the same year, and at the end of that, at the end of 2018, people are looking around like, what's, is there anything that's going to come? And then, of course, not to disparage it, but Sue comes out a woman, okay? She comes out for domination, right? And she's just, she leads the charge. Moa's there too, you know, buff Moa, right? Um, she comes out, just the two of them, and they bring in a third to help, and there's now an official third. I'm not going to get into that. That's, that's where it just goes crazy. But for her to come out, as a mature young woman, her voice changed. Not as youthful, but mature and experienced and controlled. And you're like, this is really good stuff. But the machine, the entity, the monster that is the brand, there's always something wrong with it. There's always something that's a little like, you always think to yourself, like, this is one of those things where, you think of examples like, okay, the Jackson 5, young kids, and then you hear of all these stories about how their dad made them, forced them to do it and all this stuff. So because of the history of those situations, people think like, well, man, what if, is, is the management company forcing them to do this? Do they really, do they want to do this? It's kind of like that because they were so young when they started, as they get older, you're like, are they... Are they making them do this? Is this something? Is this, you know, people question it. And people love the band so much. People love those three girls so much. 
when they came out, they were such a phenomenon because they were so small and everyone related and it was so big that since then, people keep questioning the validity of it. Not the validity of Sue's talent, not the level of Moa's energy, power, and talent, and not, and not to disparage against whoever tries to fill into those shoes of Yui. It's always that management, the company, the entity, the, 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 the thing, the machine behind it. And because there's always cryptic, there's never a face to it, it you know that it's big money. And you're like, you worry about them, right? And then you see a band like Liliac, right? Young people. And they go on, they, they, are, they are suddenly get discovered by the mainstream. And you've got like America's Got Talent and all these other producers and executives wanting to throw money at them. And the parents of the band, Papa Liliac and Mama Liliac, going, no, our kids are not going to be that. Our kids are going to be whoever they are, and they're going to develop on their own. That was a strong decision to make by that family, to say, no, we're not going to be plugged into a machine and our kids' lives completely dominated into being part of a machine. Liliac works just as hard as anyone else, and, but they're doing it on their own. The warning, you know, the warning is kind of a hybrid. The warning is big, and they are plugged into management. They are plugged into that Los Angeles Hollywood music scene. They are. And to me, when the warning was first out, and they did their TED Talk, and they were doing all this stuff, and they were still small, and they were breaking out, it was awesome to see it. Since the new stuff came out, and their management company changed, I haven't been able to do a single reaction. Not one. Instantly blocked worldwide because the machine now has them. So I can't even share with you my thoughts on them. Love them. Love their music. Love those three ladies. They're amazing. But they're in the same boat as Baby Metal right now. Have you seen anybody doing warning reactions lately? Unless they have an agreement with the record company, it ain't happening. Or they get lucky. That's what worries me. Um, and it's a shame. The tragedy of baby metal, man. And when I hear this, I'm happy but because I'm watching this. I love Sue. I think Mo is amazing. I love the strength of these young women. I love the, the creativity and the talent of these young women. But as someone sitting on the outside, a dad of three girls, I look at this band and think, man, are they okay? Tell me you don't think that. Tell me sometimes when you're watching Baby Metal, you're not like, are they wanting to be there? Is this something they really want? Or are they just doing it because they have to? Please tell me you've at least thought that once.
I will never say that Moa Metal doesn't love what she does. You could see it in her eyes. You could see it in the smile on her face. She took her in ear out just so she could hear the people. I know that Sue Metal loves what she does. I know that everything about the performing art, singing, dancing, the crowd, there's no feeling like that, by the way. There's no rush like it. But I do have two more thoughts on this. Look at that stage show. How many metal bands, big metal bands, world known, world famous metal bands have a stage show like Baby Metal does? Metallica? <laughs> Slipknot? Maybe? The amount of money, capital put up by the, the machine, there is expectation can't escape that and the other thing that i want everyone to remember is uh, that i i am thinking about is let's say sue metal and moa metal say we're done there is no more baby metal we're out is it one of those things where they're will wheaton you know what i mean will wheaton was in stand by me one of the best movies of all time then he was a part of star trek as wesley crusher world famous because of it a little too famous because of it so much so that will wheaton hated the fact that he was will will wheaton was wesley crusher through his entire young adulthood through his 20s into his 30s where every i mean nobody would want him to be a character because everyone would just see wesley crusher so much so that he sputtered on it and parodied himself as Will Wheaton in the Big Bang Theory because he's Wesley Crusher and his thing with Sheldon in the, the right? And because of it, he was able to break free from it. And Wesley can do no wrong because now Wesley, Will Wheaton is now known to be Will Wheaton. Not, hey, that's the guy that played Wesley, Wesley Crusher. How hard would it be for Sue or Moa to not be Sue Metal or Moa Metal. If they did something else, would anyone in Japan or in the world say, we want to hear what something else you've done and not hold this big giant logo over their head? I don't know. The industry's fickle. The world is fickle. I mean, look at the internet. It's crazy. Let me put it like this. This is the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to let it play through the rest of it. When I first started my channel, I discovered this band because you guys shared it with me, and I fell in love with the three young ladies doing all this crazy stuff. However, my YouTube st channel started in 2020. All this had already happened. The loss of the member of the Cami band, the loss of a third member of the trio, and everything that occurred afterwards. Um, So, I started my YouTube channel when Distortion came out. So I never got, to, I, I wasn't part of the baby metal that a lot of you love. But when I look back on it, I'm like, man, it's just not the same. And I, I want to say that, that that part of time, from 2012, until 2000, the beginning, the beginning of 2018 was a white hot existence of those three ladies and the cami band behind them. They could do no wrong. And it's not just a promotional video machine. This, these three, those three ladies and the band would go to download. They would go to Sonosphere. They would go to all these different places. And people were like, it's like three little girls from Japan and a backing band. I don't know. It's some kind of hype thing about chocolate. They, the people would walk into the festival and it would start off kind of like Bloody Wood, right? It'd be like a few people at first. And all of a sudden, when they showed up, you're like, whoa. This is something. When they showed up at Sonosphere, so you have 2012, 2014. By the time 2016 comes around, 
everyone knew that if baby metal showed up it wasn't just a gimmick it wasn't just girly little girl dresses and pigtails and kawaii it was an experience that even the most jaded motorhead fans were like it's pretty cool man i like that that's a that's a damn respectable wall of death right there right so whether you're a Kawhi metal fan like brock or you were a jaded motorhead fan or pantera fan you were like all right i'll give you i'll give it to you right Kai, if only right if you could go back in time you could go back to 2018 and just tell him don't go on don't go on that platform don't go up on that platform come down here stay safe if you could find out what was going on with Yui, talk to her, figure out why. Where would they be now? We don't know. It's one of those tragedies, man. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's like, it's one of those things where you're like, somebody's like, hey, I just, I just saw this band. The, this, I saw this new song came up on my Spotify. From some band called Baby Metal, it's kind of cool. I'm like, really? Well, let me show you this history uh, of from 2012 to 2018. Watch these four years, and they're like, "What is this?" I'm like, exactly. Will it ever be as good? I don't know, because part of the draw of the band was that they were so young. Now they're young adults, so it is harder to translate because now you're comparing adult to adult. It's kind of like for the warning. The warning was little girls and adults. Now it's adult young women that are powerful comparing to other adults and they're holding their own just fine. It's tough to see them grow up, isn't it? All right, let's finish it out. Let me let it play. It's a, it's, come on, it's a baby metal reaction. You had to know it was gonna go over 30 minutes. So shut the hell up. You know me, you, you know. There were four circle runs going on in that crowd. I'm gonna try to jump back to that real quick if I can. Um, again, this was put together by, uh, his name is right here. He puts his name right here, so I'm gonna let that play. Um, Kuro Kitsu-sama, 
um moto naga um those are the words down here i don't know if that's the person that made it together or put it together i don't know um the ending part still puts hair up so it's obvious it obviously still works um you know there I, you can blame fate you can blame the tragedy of life you can blame the management company you could blame the record label you could blame whatever but you know who you can't blame and you know you have to thank every day i'm thankful for those three ladies i'm thankful for the cami band in all iterations for their work hard work dedicated musical talent i'm thankful for every single female performer who was asked or who gave their best effort to fill you issues because it has been almost impossible to do why because the internet sucks that's why um but most of all the fans all those arms you see sticking up there there's a reason why baby metal got as big as they did and that's because so many hundreds of thousands of millions of people fell in love with those three little girls for stepping into metal and making it cute and that's really, that's the story of Baby Metal. I think that's really what it is. Three young girls in a, in a musical performing academy in Japan that said, everyone else is doing rap, hip hop, dance, whatever. The three of us are going to do metal. And everyone was like, huh? How can you do? They're like, yeah, but it's going to be cute. Oh! And millions of people fell in love with it. Damn good idea. Damn good execution. My name is Old School Nerd. And this was my last attempt. This is it. After this, I will never do another Road of Resistance attempt to do a reaction. This was it. Give it my last try. Hey, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck in this bubble all together. And we're not, we're not promised tomorrow. Baby Metal showed us that hard lesson. Blessings on the house of all the performers who have been with Baby Metal from the beginning, the ones that have passed, the ones that we've lost through death and through um, separation from the band, and uh, to those who continue on. The Fox God may, may he or she, Fox, whatever, I don't know. I, I, I've never figured that out. But whatever it is, hopefully it guides you on. because. Um, it brought you certain places that are pretty impressive. We'll see you guys later. Man, 33 minutes. I know a lot of you people are thinking like, dude, Old School Nerd did a reaction that's 34 minutes long. But if you look at my past Baby Metal reactions, this one's actually kind of short. Yeah, I've got problems.